Welcome to Add Colors to Your Data and use less Excel that way. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, this past week, I have been challenged with uh, doing some actual end-user end work in Business Central um, and clean up some things and so on. And, and I suddenly found myself in a... Um, in a pattern that was, well, it was kind of a fail from Business Central because what I had to do, let me show you what, what, what I, um, no, here's just a random typed in uh, general journal. And you no, know, I had some auto generated entries and trying to sort out a lot of things. And then you end up in this situation where you need to mark some lines being something and something else. And, you know, the way you do this is you just open this in Excel. And that opens on some screen, I guess. Let's move it here. And then you say, oh, hang on. This one is yellow. That one is yellow. That one is yellow. And uh, perhaps uh, that's actually the right one instead. And so you, you, at least that's what I do. You know, try to make some some distinct markings and say, "Hey, this this line is this group," or so on. And after I have done this um, a few times, I say, "Huh, that's kind of a, not optimal." Uh, you know, you you're supposed to be able to do the work inside Business Central, and now you have to kind of go in between or maybe you even open the journal and edit in Excel and so on. So I thought if I just had color coding inside uh, Business Central, I, I could actually get away with most of this without having to use Excel. So um, you know where, where, we, where, where we're going to go here is that we are going to make something that will perhaps do this. And um, what I'm thinking is that let's create a, uh, add a field to a uh, to general journal. So the general journal extension, so that will be a table extension because we want to add a field to it. Um, my uh, color coding, my color, that's probably fine. Extends the extends the gen journal line table. So we need to add a field, uh, and the magic of this field showing up is just because I press Control uh, Space to get IntelliSense. There's no suggestion of a field name here. That would be an AI thing. But let me just call it color, and then. Okay, so let's let's figure out how to define the colors. So let me actually create a new file here and call it colors. Yeah. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna create an enum called colors, or maybe just color. Um, and for sure, the the first value is gonna be a a non-value, right? You're supposed to be able to select something that is is nothing. But then let's say that we want something that's red. How do we do that? And uh, and this is where there's a very cool trick. And the cool trick is, uh, let's see where did this go? Uh, a cool trick is Unicode. So Unicode actually has a lot of colored um, letters if you can make it symbols. So let's go with squares. So here is actually the Unicode for a red square. So if I go back, say boom, I'll have a red square here. So I can do a value two, let's go for blue, caption equal and grab the blue square. And value three, 
Uh, what do we have here? Let's see what do we have. This is uh, orange. Yeah, orange. That's a orange. Caption equal. Hope it's not blue. Then I need to copy the orange. Here we go. Uh, let's make a few more. What else do we have? So we have yellow. But yellow and orange are very close together. So how about green instead? Caption equal the green one. Value five. What else do we have? Purple. 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 Caption equal purple. Uh, let's do one more and then. Uh, do one brown. Wait, we want to do both brown and black, I think. Cap. Oh, wow. See, that went caption equal that and value seven black and then grab this guy. Okay, so that's an enum. And the caption is is the color the blob, so we should be able to just go enum color. Um, and I guess that's it. So now we need to put it on the actual general journal. So new file gen journal page. So we create a page extension. Extends general journal, I think it's just called actually. Um, <laughs> let's actually go layout and then do where did our thing go here. So posting date is the first field. Uh, so right after that, that's probably fine. So add after posting date field color. Application area all. So let's recap what we have done. We have added a field to the table. We have placed the field on the screen and we have defined an enum with the colors in them. I think that's close to it. So let's go to the general journal. In reality, we probably want this to be as as narrow as possible. So with equal one, I'm not sure that it's going to do as much more than we're already doing. General journals. Yeah, maybe that's a. Uh... Okay, so what can we do now? You can say that one's green, that one's blue. So now I can color tag just like I did in Excel. That's a purple one. Uh, this one is brown. There's another green one there, perhaps, and a green one here. and. And, and it's a field, so it'll, it works everywhere. But he, he, here's the cool part that, so what I find myself doing when I color coded in, in Excel was that then I probably needed to look at the sum of all the yellow marked or all the red ones. But now we can actually do the same thing in, uh, in Business Info because I just hit the analysis view. And, uh, oh. It, so you see, we we add the. Uh, I was goofing around before I started the video, so this one apparently remembers something. Um, see, I add it as a a row group, and uh, 
and then I can get a subtotal. Let me get rid of most of all these columns. Uh, there's too many. Like now I can get a subtotal per color. And, and it doesn't mean anything other than what I'm trying to to do, but I, I know what I what I did with the different coatings. So let's uh, let's uh, let's recap. We added a field, we put it on a page, and the field is an enum, and I just cheated and used the use the symbols here. Uh, we could go for something else, right? Uh, we could we could add in in a, in a uh, if we don't really go for the colors, then we can say, hey, perhaps we need to have a. Uh, This one, and say, uh, hang on. This one is a unicorn. That one is also a unicorn. One, hang on. Really? So now I exit out of the row. And I get. Okay, so. It's, it's, it's the, I understand that Microsoft wants to reduce uh, the amount of work on the database. But then again, at the same time, there is a save over after every field. But here, I type something in, I hit analysis mode and what I typed in is not saved to the database so analysis mode actually read this as let me do that again let's see if it's not a, so I have two unicorns right now I go here there are two unicorns I climb it. go back in there are two unicorns I go down here I select a unicorn and I click Analysis mode, there's only two unicorns. I click back, there are still three on the screen. I exit out of the row. Ah, that's gotta be, that just gotta, that has to be a bug. Um, this is 26. Anyway, again, uh, if you don't like colors, you're more a unicorn uh, person, then you can create stuff like that. It doesn't really matter. It's so just row tacking is, is really uh, it's really useful when you're trying to sort out uh, stuff. Anyway, that's uh, that's how we do that. Uh, this video is filled with uh, more ale hacking. Go check it out. It's a good one. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.